Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts and today I have the first video of the Muggles Wizarding Adventures. I'm going to be using the Echo Park Witches and Wizards collection and I'm also going to be using this sketch. It's paid content. It's an eight photo five pack. So there are five sketches in it and they all contain eight photos. The sketch itself calls for like a strip of photos across both the left and right of the layouts and then also a four by six photo and then two smaller photos which I don't actually make them as small as the sketch calls for because I have the details that I wanted to add to the layout. I do end up adding a set of flip flaps over on the far left because I had pictures from like outside Gringotts Bank. I didn't really have any other place for them to go so they're gonna be flat to the layout but then on the top flip flap it's gonna be us inside the bank so it because it doesn't really match and I just didn't want to do a whole layout with just those two photos so I just made it work. I decided to pull out the green paper since it's at the bank so I figured green with the money and then also this yellow paper and I do go into my stash and find a gold glittery paper to use as one of the border strips as well. So once I get kind of the base of the layout done I do go ahead and ink all of my edges with black soot and then of course going ahead and laying all of those pieces down. So as I'm laying those pieces down like I just want to reminisce a little bit about this particular trip. I know I talked a little bit about it in the opening video and then also on like my weekend video but that was a while ago. First of all one I cannot believe that this was two years ago because we went to Universal for Eli's 11th birthday and he just had his 13th birthday so it just amazes me how quickly time has gone and it's true like when they say that the days are long but the years are short because man it has flown by the amount of time that he has been with me. This layout does come together pretty quickly because I don't do a whole lot to it. I decided that I wanted to really start using my silhouette again and this video was actually made before March Madness and this is what actually made me decide to upgrade my silhouette because my friend Abby actually made the Gringotts Bank coins for me that are going to be in the three different clusters and she used heat transfer vinyl on the gold glitter paper and it turned out so amazing and it just reminded me of how much I really truly loved my silhouette as well as how much use I can get from my collections when I'm not just using the ephemera pieces that the companies that are creating these collections put out and so as you can see here I have these really big coins. I love how big they are. It really showcases like this is Green Gotch Bank obviously. I probably made them a little too big. I'm not very good at math when it comes to like spatial recognition and understanding that like two inches is really big. Think of two inches I just think it's really small. So when I told Abby oh yeah make them two inches and I think three inches or something like that. I didn't realize how big they were going to be but they turned out so awesome and I love the way that it comes out that I didn't feel like I needed to add a whole lot of other embellishments because the coins really stand out. I did go ahead and add a uh, swirly jewel piece over there on the left because still trying to use up those and get those on my layouts as opposed to in my scrapbook room and then I just added some enamel shapes. I added some enamel dots as well as enamel arrows in each one of the clusters and then that's it like it came together super super quick so here is my final layout as well as some close-ups and you can see all of the amazingness of that heat transfer vinyl on the gold glitter it just turned out really awesome I didn't even know that that was something that can be done with heat transfer vinyl so I appreciate Abby doing that for me all right, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.